Hello and welcome to Kemper Bushcraft. Nice to see you. I'm out in my camp today and uh, you have seen I made some uh, additions, some uh, new things in my camp. I'll talk about that a little later. But you probably also noticed I was wearing a new knife today. So uh, I'm actually going to make a review of this and uh, tell you a little, about, little bit about uh, this knife, this very awesome knife. So, and actually I got two knives from the same company, from the same designer, so hang on. Yeah. And uh, this is the knife I'm talking about. It came in a, a case box like this. And in here, uh, there is the little uh, model of the same knife. Both very, very awesome knives. And um, it's one of my YouTube friends called uh, Juan Carlos from Spain, who has designed these knives for a company called uh, Kudeman, a Spanish company uh, that make very good knives uh, in Spain. And um, some of the names are in Spanish and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, so I'll write it uh, below so you can see how it's spelled. But this one, uh, Juan Carlos, he has a YouTube channel that called Un Duende de Negro and it's translated to something like a black elf. Uh, so um, this is his uh, channel and I put a link uh, to his channel of course and see uh, you can see uh, some Spanish bushcraft videos that are very great. Unfortunately he's only uh, speaking in uh, Spanish so I can't understand much of it but uh, there's some uh, very nice footage and uh, some good ideas I have seen in his videos. So check him out. And um, this knife is called Bushcraft Scanabria, I think it's called. Scanabria. I write it here. And as you can see, very, very uh, great knives. Uh, a little bit uh, out of the ordinary, the design, I think. It's very cool and very uh, durable and uh, the sheets are uh, made of very very uh, fine leather and nice stitching and uh, top quality I can say. And uh, both knives are full tang as you can see and a hole here uh, for a lanyard you can put in a security and uh, the blade finish is uh, satin. Uh, it's a drop point uh, shape blade. Uh, it's steel from uh, something called Molipedeno uh, Vanadio, also tr uh, uh, called Mova steel. And I've little, I have uh, done a little research in uh, in this steel, and uh, some of uh, some of the um, uh, experts are saying it's uh, almost the same as 440C steel, which is uh, stainless steel and a uh, very good steel. It holds an edge very long and it's easy to sharpen. Uh, the handle is uh, Du Mikara uh, and there's two versions of this. Uh, this one is with the brown uh, handle and the brown sheath and they make also a one in uh, black Mikara uh, handles and black uh, sheath. So uh, you can uh, choose which one of these models you want. Uh, the hardness is uh, 54, 56 um, and the large one is called uh, 181Y uh, which is the brown and T for the black and the little one is called 182 uh, and the same uh, Y for brown and T for black. Uh, and on Kudeman's website uh, of course I put a link to that you can read all the specifications for these knives. I'll uh, tell you a little bit about uh, the things I think is most important. Uh, the blade length uh, on the large one is 11.5 uh, centimeters and the small one 7 centimeters. And the total length of this uh, uh, big knife is 23.5 uh, centimeters and the short one uh, or the small one 16 centimeters. Uh, the thickness of the blade here is uh, uh, 4.5 centimeters and uh, 3 millimeters there. No, 4.5 millimeters of course and 3 millimeters on the small one. 
and the blade wide is uh, 35 millimeters here and 25 here. The weight uh, for the large one is uh, 250 gram and only uh, 85 gram for the small one. Um, and that's for the knife and including the sheath, uh, 335 gram uh, for the big one and 130 gram uh, for the small one. So, and uh, the prices, uh, they vary a little bit, but uh, the ordinary price for this uh, large knife is 82 euros and 52 for the small one. Uh, the small one here, uh, Juan Carlos say that it can be used as a neck knife and uh, of course that would be great. It has the right size but uh, you can also uh, use it uh, for your child. Uh, if you have a child that is uh, uh, used to uh, handle knives that are very sharp, uh, this one I think it's uh, very awesome uh, for a little hand and uh, of course uh, the big one uh, is very nice in my hand. It, uh, it has a good grip and uh, I like this uh, finish. It's not uh, uh, glossy. It's very uh, uh, very nice to hold and here you can see uh, there's a good grip for my uh, thumb here when I'm carving or making. Uh, I, don't, I don't hunt. This one can also be used for hunting. Uh, for skinning deers and so on, but uh, it's a very nice knife uh, and in the large one uh, There is a hole here for the bow drill so you can use this uh, as a, a holder um, a Bearing block I think it's called So all in all very nice uh, design uh, Juan Carlos has uh, used Juan Carlos has uh, uh, designed this and uh, the company Kudeman uh, has agreed to, to produ produce it uh, and uh, I know he's very proud of this and I can easily understand that it's a very uh, it's a wonderful beautiful knife congratulations Juan Carlos you are a, a great designer and uh, I know uh, uh, it's something he has uh, wanted for a very long time yeah and how about uh, the use uh, how is this, how it is uh, performing? Uh, I'll uh, test it in a couple of weeks and uh, see if uh, the first impression is the right one. I'm sure it is, but now, uh, as you can see, it's uh, really sharp, and the little one too. Yeah, so. No problem there, a very sharp knife and uh, as I said before, very easy to, sh to sharpen too. And now I'm going to make some uh, feather sticks and uh, the last one I will try uh, to baton with and see how that uh, works. I first have to say I'm not an expert in, uh, in feather sticks so um, others would probably have a better result than I have but uh, it gives me an, uh, uh, a clue of how uh, this one is performing uh, when I'm go doing feather sticks with uh, uh, very fine shavings. Oh, it's nice. It's much better than my SE5. Um, I think it's because this has a little bit uh, narrow edge, uh, more arrow than my uh, more narrow than my Essie. But again, it is not something I'm doing very often, making feather sticks. So, what about the little one? Well, it's sharp. That's for sure. Very sharp. Well, let's see how the big one is uh, doing batoning. Yup. Yeah. Very smooth. Now for a bigger part.
And this uh, wood is very dense, as you saw when I split in it with my axe. It's good firewood. It's good firewood. Yeah. Very sharp. And very yeah. Good. Two knives, two very great knives. I'm <clears throat> very impressed uh, by these knives. Good quality, uh, very nice, thick uh, leather sheets, and uh, a knife that with a nice grip, and it performs beautiful. So um, go in, check the website, and uh, perhaps you can find them on the internet, uh, so you can buy one. I can only recommend this. Uh, I'll use it uh, for a while now and see how it performs in long term, but I'm sure this one is for a lifetime if you want a knife for that. And also this little thing here, when you can put your hand, uh, it's so beautiful, so great. Thank you very much Juan Carlos for uh, letting me testing this knife these knives i'm very uh, grateful for that now now i think it's time for coffee yeah don't you think so well the sun is beginning to uh, go down by the tree so it's a little bit chilly out here again so i have to put my anorak on and uh, i only use my little uh, wood stove from uh, bushcraft essential so uh, and you know it's been a wonderful uh, new year. All the kind comments I've had uh, received from you, uh, wonderful subscribers and viewers out there, I'm very grateful for that. But let's have some coffee.
Um, and I got a piece of antler uh, that was <laughs> so nice that I had to, to make something uh, out of it. I hollowed it out and decided to put my tobacco in here with a little uh, cork. And I think it's very nice. It's looking very old school. It's almost like putting uh, gunpowder down in your uh, in your rifle in the old days. And because I have got some uh, new tobacco from my very good friend Shem from the USA, the Black Captain tobacco, it's very light and very uh, small cut. So when I put it in here. I can easily get it out, yeah, and it's really a nice taste. I love it. So um, a little thing I also made during my uh, Christmas vacation. And as I, as I promised you, I will talk a little bit about the things I've made here <coughs> during the Christmas. I put uh, this one, is a little roof that will prevent the rain from coming down on my wall. And I made a little shelf so then I can put my firewood there uh, and keep it dry. And, and here on the other side, you can see I have uh, I can put some uh, tools on this wall and uh, keep them dry too and um, as I have shown you these two this one and this one two small um, uh, dragon heads uh, Viking inspired dragon heads that I made uh, they were actually meant to be on top of the shelter but it didn't look uh, right so I put them there and I think they are okay. Uh, it gives us a little bit uh, Viking uh, like uh, appearance. And uh, I have some other plans for the shelter inside. Um, the back wall, I'm going to decorate it with something. I won't tell you now what it is. Uh, one of my subscribers have uh, suggested that. So that will be an uh, upcoming project on Make Bad Home and uh, and put it on here. So, and again, I would like to have some more reindeer skin, a couple of more. It will be very cozy and nice in here. So, but all in all, you can see it's looking uh, quite finished now. And I actually also uh, painted the the shelter with uh, some uh, uh, colorless uh, oil uh, uh, paint so that the wood will uh, last longer.
well, this is my first um, video out here from my uh, Kimber Camp in 2020. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I actually had planned to make another video uh, driving up in the northern part of uh, Denmark near a town called Skagen and uh, make a hike there out on the open uh, fields, the, the, the sand domes that are up there, but it was actually very windy today, almost uh, a light storm. So uh, I decided not to do that because uh, when I'm filming in a very windy condition, the, uh, the camera doesn't uh, take the, the beating nicely. So there's a lot of noise on my videos. So I'll uh, postpone that for another uh, day. I'm looking very much forward to that because I'm going to uh, put my Polish Labo up for the first time and uh, see how that works. So, but it's been a wonderful day, uh, as you see, as you saw, uh, it has been sun and uh, down here in my camp there's no wind, it's uh, perfect, very uh, awesome and I love uh, my new shelter. And um, now I'm going home uh, to my wife and uh, it's Saturday today and I think I'll wait for tomorrow, Sunday, to edit this video and uh, put it up on YouTube for your, my good friends out there. Thank you for watching Kim Bushcraft. I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care.